Okay, guys, this is uh, last year's external multiple choice paper, chemistry paper one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to go through these questions with you. You will see that I've already filled in answers to um, speed the process up. And in some cases, they're pretty obvious. If not, I will obviously try and explain the, uh, the answer. Question one, in a chemical equation of equilibrium, a reversible arrow symbolizes that. Well, you should know this is pretty basic stuff that at equilibrium, all concentrations are constant because the rates of the forward and reverse reactions are the same. So D is your choice for that first one. Question two, which expression represents the hydrogen ion concentration at a pH of 8.4? For this one, you're using the pH formula, where pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. And if you reverse that, the hydrogen ion concentration would be the uh, would be 10 to the minus pH. Okay, again, something just using a formula. Question three: Two 0.1 molar acidic solutions are 100% associated. Solution X has an electrical conductivity twice that of solution Y. Identify solutions X and Y. Now you'll see I've highlighted the acids sulfuric and hydrochloric because effectively when sulfuric uh, ionizes or dissociates, it's going to produce twice as many hydrogen ions as HCl. Um, it says they're both 100% associated. So again, you're looking for two strong acids. And again, D fits that category. Question four to five. Decomposition of hydrogen iodide to produce hydrogen and iodine in a sealed container. Okay, so you can see that the change that would shift it from light purple to dark purple. So in other words, we're talking about shifting the equilibrium to the right. And that, of course, is easily achieved by adding HI. If you add something, Le Chatelier says the system will oppose you and take it away which it can do by shifting to the right. Uh, the Kc for the reaction would be the hydrogen concentration times the iodine concentration over the HI concentration squared. Uh, identify the reactants that undergo a condensation reaction to produce this molecule. Well, you can see here is an amide bond and therefore, we want a carboxylic acid with four carbons and an amine with three carbons. And there is your choice. Which half cell produces the largest potential difference when joined with a zinc zinc iron half cell to form a galvanic cell? You will need your data book for this one. Uh, you may be able to guess it because zinc, of course, is a fairly reactive metal, so it's in the top half of the table, whereas fluorine is right at the very bottom. So there is going to have a, that's going to be the biggest difference in their electropotentials and therefore the biggest voltage that you're going to get. Um, offhand, zinc I know is negative 0.76. Fluorine fluoride is probably just under three volts, I would think. It's positive, so when you put them together, you're going to get an overall voltage of about 3.7 volts. Identify the species being reduced in the equation. So reduction, obviously, is the gain of electrons, which is the same as a decrease in oxidation number as electrons are added. So this is going to be your candidate. Bromine is going from zero to minus one as an electron is being added. Electrons have been added. Two bromines, two Br minus. Okay, we've got a titration curve, and let's see what we can deduce before we look at the questions. We start at pH 1, so it's a strong acid. We finish at pH 13, so it's a strong base, just over 13. Uh, the equivalence point, as you'd expect, would be neutral, 7, because it's strong acid and strong base. The end point is at 30 mil, and that's for the base. And you can see the, num the amount of acid used was 60 mil. The acid is monoprotic, the base is monobasic, so therefore they react in a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you're going to need twice the volume of acid, it means it must be half the concentration. 
So the acid concentration would be 0 0.05. Okay, so let's have a look at the questions. The unknown monoprotic acid is more dilute. Yeah, we've already said it's 0 0.05. And of course, it's a strong acid starting at pH 1. And there's its concentration, 0 0.05. Plating of silver is conducted using the operation of an electrical, electrochemical cell shown. Now you can see it's got a voltage source, which means basically it's electrolysis. We're using electricity to produce a chemical reaction. In an electrolysis setup, the positive electrode is the anode and the negative electrode is the cathode. And our answer here would be the spoon is acting as the cathode. Enzymes are classified as proteins. That's just a fact you need to know. Uh, proteins make up uh, lots of things in different in living systems, as we know, and enzymes is just one of those. Identify the reaction used to produce methanol and triglycerides. Triglycerides are also known as fats or lipids or oils, and you are probably more familiar with the reverse reaction where uh, methanol and triglycerides are used to produce the biofuel biodiesel. This is the reverse reaction. And whether you look at it forwards or backwards, it's transesterification. Because this is an ester, biodiesel is an ester, and when you go from one to the other, you are basically undergoing transesterification. One ester to another ester. Which molecule has the lowest boiling point? They're all ketones, so you're lo simply looking for the smallest of them because the smallest will have the weakest dispersion forces and therefore the lowest boiling point. Our buffer solution containing carbonic acid and hydrogen carbonate would resist, would react to resistant change in pH when a small amount of hydrochloric acid is added. Okay, this is the buffer that we use in our bodies. Uh, blood is buffered using those two chemicals, and effectively, if we add hydrochloric acid, we are, of course, adding hydrogen ions. Looking at these reversible reactions, that will cause the equilibrium to shift left and left again, which means choice C is your answer. Haloalkanes undergo a substitution reaction with cyanide in ethanol to produce well, a cyanide ion obviously is replacing the halo, halide ion in the haloalkane substitution reaction. Now, there's only one functional group in your reaction pathways that involves the CN, and that is the nitrile. All right. Even if you didn't know your reaction pathways, and I do understand they are a pain to try and learn them, I kind of, I think you could have guessed that. Uh, we have another organic reaction here. Carboxylic acid plus alcohol makes product X and water. Well, effectively, what we're doing is we're taking away the OH of the carboxylic acid, the H of the alcohol, and making water. And then the R, C double bond, O links to the OR. And that, of course, produces an ester. Uh, water obviously is produced in that reaction, and that is a condensation reaction. Identify the polymer shown. It's a three carbon polymer. This would be an alkene. The double bond would have been there, and that would be propene, giving us polypropene. And lastly, question 20. Okay, so we have a polypeptide and it contains three amino acids. Now you will need to use your data book and find the page on amino acids to identify the three that are producing this polypeptide. So the first thing we need to do basically is find the amide links. Okay, there's one there and there's one there. Okay, so the C double bond O next to an NH is an amide link. So the first amino acid would be this one here, where there would be an OH on the end. That makes it a dicarboxylic acid with an NH2, and that would make it aspartic acid if you look in your data book. It may not look exactly the same in the data book, guys. You may have to kind of um, use your imagination a bit, but trust me, you know, it's got what, one, two, three, uh, it's a four, four carbon 
carboxylic acid with an NH2 off it, a dicarboxylic acid, it's aspartic acid. The second one has an NH2 there and a COH there. And coming off that alpha carbon, the middle one there, is basically a carbon, a CH2, and an SH. That would look pretty much the same in the data book. That would be cysteine. And the final one has an NH2 there, a C with a CH3 up there, and a COH on the end. And that would be alanine, and your choice would be B.